Walk away from these things. These are not these are not cheerleading sessions. These are not pep rallies, really. These are this is like this is a, a an internal you know focus group, right? And I want you to internally focus on what it is that you can do for this country. What can you do? What will you do? What are you able to do? What skill set do you have? And I'm not talking to the people that are younger than me. Hey, I'm, I mean, maybe a couple of years younger than me. I'm really talking to my generation. Because my father and my mother, who my father's a World War II and a Korea War veteran. And thank God my mother decided to marry him and have nine children. But I, I'm telling you, my, my parents, they turned over, and my parents, as they reflect on and relate to that entire generation, they turned over to us and they said, here's a great country. Yeah. You know, go work hard, be good to others, you know, be a lifelong learner, don't, don't ever quit, don't stop, don't complain, get involved, okay? And that's, and that's what we were, that's what we did, right? That's what we did. So now, my generation, as I look around this audience, that my generation is about to now turn over to the next generation, the next two generations, the next whatever generations, a, a, a country that's a communist country, that's a socialist country. So, so we... We still have an opportunity here. We really do. I mean, when Alfie's up here talking, I hope you really paid attention to some of what he said because it's a very, very optimistic outlook. And I agree because like, like our buddy Mike Lindell always says, you know, the various miracles happen. And these miracles happen. And in a, and in a way, I mean, I have a tough time because my middle name is Thomas, so I'm doubting Thomas, right? <laughs> but in a lot of ways, you know, maybe, maybe this is what this country needed was a good kick in the rear end. Because we still have all of this beauty. We still have all of this stuff. We have it all still. And we look at it and we go, how can they not want this? How can they do this? How can they, how can they, you know, and you say, well, nobody would want this kind of stuff. Yeah, communists do. Communists do. Okay? I have had the privilege of serving for this country in a lot of places around the world. And I have been in the worst possible, most depraved countries on the planet. On the planet. I've seen corruption. I've seen filth. I've seen just incredible human behavior that you would never want your child to even understand or to comprehend. And now, as I sit or as I stand here today and I think about what's happening in our own country, the depth of corruption, you know, the deep state, whatever you want to call it. I mean, we, we have a problem, and, and the problem is in different places in this country. But the biggest problem is complacency. Yes. It's our own complacency. Yes. So, yeah, so, get, so you, you, when you leave here, when you leave here tonight, in this, you know, in this beautiful night, and... Uh, when you leave here and you and you go away, not just tomorrow, but you think about it. I want you I want this to sink in for the next couple of days. Maybe sink in as you as we move towards a Thanksgiving, which is a very historic no other country on the planet celebrates Thanksgiving. Okay? Thanksgiving isn't some international holiday. Right? So as we move towards Thanksgiving in the in the coming month, coming couple of weeks here really. I want you to reflect on what it is that you not, you know, can do, but what you must do. And you start to talk to each other about what talents do I have. It doesn't matter what you did. In fact, what you did, it may be part of who you are and, and gives you the wisdom and gives you some insight and maybe some talent. So leverage it. But now it's what you're going to do. It's what you're going to do. And everybody has a responsibility. I mean, you really do. I want to have a good time like anybody. I want to go and, and you know, all of the craziness of the, the, the career that I had in the military, the, the madness that I experienced, and my family and I experienced over the last, it's still going on. It's still going on. It never, it never stops. It never stops because they fear the truth. They fear that. 
They fear. That's why they cancel us. So they, you know, they constantly cancel us. So they fear that, and that's what we have to keep doing. So we have to keep having these kinds of events, whether it's here in this beautiful venue here at the Hollow, or whether it's in in the state of Oregon or the capital of the capital of Arizona in Phoenix or wherever we're going to go, because we're going to go to all these places. And the message is generally the same. And I will tell you, the response, so the response is actually really good. And you saw some of it today. You heard some of it today. These people, these champions, these are champions that you saw today right. that are up here. And they are, that's right, they, and they deserve a round. So we have to continue to go find more of these champions all over the country. And we are. And when they see and hear examples of, of two moms who took on, and in a month, in, in about a month, they were in front of the governor of a state having a law signed on school boards, okay? Now you also heard, I forget which one said it, maybe it was Sabatini said something about, well, they're, they're right back up to their old tricks here in Florida, right here in this county, okay? Up in uh, uh, Orange County, I believe, and I think in Broward County. And they're given, they're given the governor of this state that created a law, they're giving them the Italian salute. Now, so if I had if I had Ron DeSantis by his tie, I would tell him, you gotta juggle more than one ball at a time, buddy. Amen. And you should not let these people give you the big finger. Because they're they are against you. They're against you. I I, I think the world of Ron DeSantis. But I'm going to tell you, when, if somebody was in violation of a rule that I, that I put in, in place, or of an order that I gave, and I found out about it, and I hope that somebody's telling him about this kind of stuff, or he's paying attention enough, because these are people that are in violation of a law, not a mandate, of a law. Right. And they're basically telling you, you represent you know, the people of the various counties, they're telling you, tough, we don't care what the governor says. That's what they're doing. So that's why we've got to be we gotta be smart. We've got to pay attention. You gotta read. You gotta listen. And you have to get involved. Okay? The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a presentation up here. Uh, we, we have a uh, yeah, bring that out here, buddy. I love you, why don't you come out here? Hey, this look. I don't know how we got. So cool. So, Olivia and I became, we became, uh, I actually didn't meet her until a couple of different events later, but the, uh, uh, when, when uh, these gals, Kimberly and um, M were talking about Tulsa, that was when I became aware of this young lady. I mean, it, the story is just unbelievable. It's even worse than what she was trying, what she described. It's, it's horrible. But you see this little, beautiful little child and now she's got this level of confidence. And I love, give me your hand. I love the fact that that you know, you know, and I do this routinely, bringing children up on a stage because it's like it instills confidence. You know, she doesn't know what the heck, is, which end is up. She just knows that she's standing up here on a stage, and she's happy because her mom is taking care of her, right? So, and that's, but this gives confidence to this young lady. And there's like little kids out there. All of a sudden, it's all this forced family fun that's out here today. Right? So all these little kids, they're popping up now because they look at, they see this little girl up here. Right? And other kids begin to realize how important this is. And they see something and they're like, wow, what's happening? What's happening? Okay? And like I say, all the time, the only reason that I, I'm doing what I'm doing, no other reason. I love this country, but I'm doing this because I refuse. I have grandchildren and I refuse to turn this country to my grandchildren. Okay, or yours, I guess, to, you know, to, to what I know it shouldn't be. So what I'm going to do, this is a, this is a replica, it's a gold-plated replica of the, of the, of the uh, beautiful Constitution and the uh, Declaration of Independence of the United States, and it's signed by a whole bunch of people. So I'm going to let you accept it for the hollow, okay, on behalf of everybody out here. And, uh, and I just want to say to all of you, you know, thank you for all being here today. And you know, and God bless this country, but get in there and fight. Do not give this country up.
Thank you so much.